Good morning students. I hope you all are aware of solid and liquid form of water. As we have discussed earlier, water exists in three forms. Today, I am going to discuss the third form that is gaseous form of water. Now students, open your book on page 89. Before going to start, first I will discuss terms. These are evaporation and condensation. Evaporation, change of water into water vapor on heating is called evaporation. Condensation, change of water vapor into water on cooling is called condensation. Now let's read. Water in gaseous form. When liquid water is heated, it changes into gaseous form. Water as a gas is called water vapor. Underline this line. Now underline word gaseous and write its meaning in the form of gas. Students, water vapors are always present in the air. When water is heated, either due to sun or any other reason, it turns into water vapor and mixes with air. Now, turn your page and let's start reading. The water changes into water vapor due to the sun's heat. The process of changing of water into water vapor is called evaporation. Underline this line. Students, there are many water bodies that surround us. Due to heat of the sun, this water gets too hot and therefore changes into gas or steam. This changing of liquid water into gas is called evaporation. Come to the next paragraph. On heating, liquid water evaporates quickly with bubbles coming out. This is called boiling. Water boils at 100 degree Celsius. Underline word evaporates and write its meaning dry up. Students, boiling is change of liquid form to gaseous form when it is heated above its boiling point. For example, boiling point of water is 100 degree Celsius. Now, come to the next paragraph. Water vapor is invisible. It is colorless and odorless. Does not have any smell. It can flow easily. Students, these are the properties of water vapor. That is, it has no color. Number two, it has no smell. And last, it can flow easily. Word invisible and write its meaning unseen. Now, next line. We also breathe out water vapor. For example, if you stand in front of a mirror and breathe out slowly on the mirror, now next page, you will observe that the water vapor you breathe out forms a spot on the mirror. Slowly, it starts appearing as liquid water on the mirror. Underline word appearing and write its meaning looking. Do you know why? It's just because water vapor touches with the cool surface and turns into liquid water. Now next paragraph. The water vapor cools down when it comes in contact with the cool surface like the mirror. On cooling, the water vapor changes back into water. Underline word contact and write its meaning touch. 
Now next line. This process of water vapor changing into water on cooling is called condensation. Underline this line. Students, have you seen some water droplets on the outside surface of glass in the summer season? Or some droplets on the mirror of your bathroom after a hot shower? These are the water vapor present in the air, which comes in contact with the cool surface or and turn back into water droplets. This process is called condensation. Now let's revise. My first question, what is the gaseous form of water called? The gaseous form of water is called water vapor. Number two, what is evaporation? Change of water into water vapor on heating is called evaporation. What is condensation? Change of water vapor into water on cooling is called condensation. Students, tomorrow I will continue with the next topic. Till then, read the chapter and revise terms and questions. Thank you.